a little bit, I think, to protect himself against Mulisks, or or at least get some turrets up in his uh, main base here. And uh, Nada's going for a factory here, so uh, we'll see if he's going to be building any factory units you know, or just going straight for science vessels. And uh, and Savior here with a good group of Mulisks coming out. Uh, Nada, Nada's going to be pretty prepared if Savior doesn't get there immediately, though, because he is going to have a good number of turrets, and his forces are back home. And Savior looks like he's chasing after something, not sure what. Maybe he's just looking for scouting SAVs to pick off. And now he's uh, he's going south again with Mutalisks. And Nada here getting his starport. Um, Savior already has his evolutionary bait, evolution bait also, so evolution chamber, so he's going to probably be getting uh, some upgrades, some carapace upgrades. Um, and Savior here uh, just trying to find a hole here in the defenses. He's not going to be able to find one, though. Nana has his troops really well positioned uh, at both bases, so he has a lot of Marines to greet Savior. And um, Savior's building some Hydralis, so we're going to expect some Lurkers soon. Um, Hydralis wouldn't make that much sense. And yeah, we've we got Lurkers coming. Um, and Nada has a really good group uh, here. He has about two dozen Marines here. Um, and, uh, and a couple of medics, and he's going to be able to pressure Savior and prevent him from from really going to his base. Um, we'll see if Savior decides to commit on a harass anyway. And Savior's really not doing much with those Mulisks right now. Um, uh, he's going to pick off a Firebat here. Um, but he's really letting Nada just uh, grow unimpeded here. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if Nada's a little bit in the lead or not, but Nada's picking off a Mulisk here. Uh, Savior really not doing that much uh, micro with him uh, just yet. And Savior might be lining up for an attack here. And he's going to go for an attack here on the main. Um, but I don't think it's going to be very successful with that bunker and uh, all those Marines there. He's going to lose a lot of forces here, actually. He didn't take it down. He barely took down anything of Nada's. And Savior's lost uh, a number of Mutalisks and, and all of his Zerglings. So that was a failed attack there. Um, Savior not even be able, being able to pick off that uh, SCV there. So a little unfortunate for him. But he's got uh, two Lurkers there below his exp uh, second expansion. So he's going to be able to protect that pretty well. And he's going to ferry some drones over there. Uh, and Savior actually going for the Hive quickly um, before he really did anything with well, Lurkers or Mulisks. So we're going to see how this game plays out. Maybe he's going directly for Defilers here, um, which could be viable here if Nada decides not to attack. But Nada is going to push in right now. And Nada may have enough to break those uh, two Sunkens um, that Savior has uh, up there if he decides to push in right now. But he's uh, deciding to pull back right now. Uh, maybe he's waiting for those tanks to come and, and to get Siege Mode. Um, and really just uh, pushing a little slower than, uh, than just rushing it. And Savior is going to move his troops up again, and we'll, we'll see what he does. Um, and he's going to pick off that uh, lone SCV there. And now it's got, uh, once again, his group of Marines just wandering around, uh, really keeping Savior's lurkers, a couple of lurkers in his base, and just preventing Savior from getting map control here. And Anada has a very good defense here. Uh, I don't see Savior really breaking through here with just Mulisks and uh, a couple of Lurkas that he has. And yeah, he, Nada is going to be able to start sieging these Sunkens. So Savior in a bit of trouble here, but Savior's, Savior's got four Lurkers there. Um, I'm not sure if that's enough. And Nada being a little careless there, uh, getting one of his tanks picked off. Oh, and Savior, very good with a the Scourge there, taking out a Science Vessel, Nada's first Science Vessel. That's going to slow Nada down significantly, actually, um, because he's, he's going to have to rely on scans to take out Lurkers. Uh, but he has taken out uh, one Sunken, at least. And uh, But Savior's setting up for a flank here. Um, oh, this could be very deadly here if Savior decides to move all the groups in. But Nada has more reinforcements, so this is going to be a big battle, I think. Uh, Savior just scouting out those Mulisks. Uh, he lost two Mulisks there. Um, and yeah, he's, he's going to draw the Marines back from... He's going to draw the Marine back... Marines back, and he's going to kill those tanks with his lurkers in the front. So very good move by Savior, doing a pincer attack there, and really just, uh, you know, catching Nada off guard. And Nada's going to kill those lurkers in the way, but I don't think Savior minds that much. He managed to hold off that attack, because without those tanks, Nada can't stay there. Lurkers are just taking them and And Savior is going to get to Filer soon, so Savior's going to have a pretty powerful army uh, in just a second here. Um, oh, look at that. Savior, perfect positioning of those lurkers, just making those uh, marines two-hit wonders, just taking them down that row there, just just brutally. Uh, very good defense by Savior, and Nada uh, lost pretty much all of his initial army there, and Savior now has uh, maybe eight or nine lurkers and a bunch of lings there, so we'll see what he does with them. 
Nada is going to scatter with that SCV though. And uh, looks like he's going for a, sort of a contain around Nada's second expansion if he decides to take it. Um, and Nada's just, uh, he's pumping barracks here and pumping science vessels. Um, I'll have to see, I think he's going for another attack on the main here. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to be that successful. Though. His force is smaller than last time. And, uh, and, and Savior Star has a large force out in the field. Uh, not as I'm going to bother sieging his tanks. He's just going to, he's going to start marching in here. Uh, no, he does siege them. And uh, Savior's going to have some scourge there. Uh, but the science vessels look pretty well protected at this point. Um, we'll have to see, though. I'm worried about Nada. Uh, if he gets... If he gets flanked here, uh, or even attacked in the main, he could be in trouble. Um, and it's, yeah, there comes the flank again from behind. Um, but this time it's not going to be as successful because Nada kept his forces together with his tanks. Uh, he is going to pick off... Um, oh, look at that. Defense Matrix on the tank. Very good by Nada there. Uh, just stopping the damage being done. And, and Savior's losing a lot of lurkers, but he is going to take this force out. Um, yeah, he's going to wipe that out. Nada with some more reinforcements coming in. But I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to break through that lurker line there. And uh, we're still waiting to see Savior, and he's got his first play, that's what I was going to say. Um, uh, Savior just known for his deadly defiler play. Uh, absolutely deadly. Um, if you've just been watching the last few months, you may not think it was so deadly, but you're going to see in this game, I bet, how good he is with these defilers. Uh, he does get that first defiler irradiated, though. He is going to plant uh, one Dark Swarm first. Two Dark Swarms, actually. Very good with a dying, uh, dying defiler there. Um, and he thinks he's going to pick out a couple of Marines there from behind the swarm. Yeah, with just uh, just Zerglings. And uh, Nada's going to be going for the... I think he's going for the 12, but he's not going to have much success there. Once again, uh, Savior just positioning two Lurkers there and a uh, couple of Mutalisks, actually. Um, and yeah, he's going to be able to take out those Marines. Oh, and Nada just uh, moving those Medics in to get slaughtered. A little uh, unfortunate there. But uh, yeah, he's going to take that out, but I think Savior does have two Sunkins in there. Um... So yeah, I don't think Nada's going to break in here. And Nada is just uh, just continually, continuously putting forces in the middle here, but um, without without massing them up too much, I fear that Savior is going to just mass up his forces and get one good dark swarm of them and just take out Nada's uh, straggling armies. And Nada going for another sunken break here. Once again, I'm not sure how successful that is. Yeah, and he can't even retreat that successful. Well, he. He's going to lose a lot of Marines here to those Lurkers, well-positioned Lurkers, uh, just cutting off their, their avenue retreat there. And he's going to lose another group of Medics and Marines. And um, uh, so he's really just, uh, he's not accomplishing too much with them. Um, and I don't think he's put up an expansion yet, although he may have an expansion there at the uh, inside uh, 6 o'clock position. I'll have to see if they, when they go there. Um, and Nada, I believe, has uh, level 2 weapons and uh, I think level 1 armor, so... We haven't. I, I haven't paid attention. Uh, and Savior has level two carapace, so he's matching uh, for the uh, attack and the defense there. Um, and oh, Savior's going to lose a defiler there, out in the middle. Savior's going to try to pick up the the natural from the third base, um, but I think Donna spotted it. Oh wow! 